All right, guys, we're going to continue with section 1.3. This is the second uh, video for this section uh, on locating points and midpoints. Uh, we're gonna just going to expand on our knowledge of how to locate points and uh, using some distance formulas to uh, find points that are between uh, two points. Um, so let's look at a few examples here. First example, we're going to find point X on segment AB. AB is the segment that uh, starts at negative 4, goes to positive 5. We're looking for a, seg for a point on this segment that is one-third of the distance from point A to point B. So what we're going to do to start off is we're going to find the distance of AB. All right, and to do that, let me get the pen working here. Remember, distance is an absolute value. Take the second point, 5, and subtract the coordinate of A. 5 minus negative 4 is 5 plus 4, which is 9. And the absolute value of 9 is 3 units. So the distance from A to B, or not 3 units, it's 9 units. I'm going a little bit ahead, I'm a little bit ahead of where I want to be. Alright, absolute value of 9 is not 3, um, it is 9 units. I'm thinking square roots here. You'll see where I got that 3 from in a minute. Now, the point uh, X, alright, it's a third the distance from A to B. So what we need to do is take one-third of nine. One-third of nine is three. So the point X, that's one-third the distance from A, has to be three units away from A. So coordinate A has coordinate four, all right? Add a third of 9, which is 3, and you get negative 1. So point X is at negative 1, and we could put it on the number line here. Alright, that's one type of problem. There's another way that we could say this. Uh, we could say find a point X on AB such that the distance. Uh, AX to BX or AX to XB is in the ratio 1 to 2 that's the same thing as saying 1 to 3 All right. second example here we're going to find a point Y on CD that is 1 fourth the distance from C to D so we're looking for a point somewhere in the middle here uh, it's going to be a little closer to C than it is to D um, so let's figure that out. What we're going to do first, we're going to find the difference, find the distance in the x direction first. All right. So if we look specifically at the x direction first, x units first. All right. We will take the absolute value of four and subtract the other coordinate, the coordinate, the x value of the coordinate of c. 4 minus negative 4 is 4 plus 4, which is the absolute value of 8, which is 8 units. Well, let's find, while we're at it, 1 fourth the distance from, in, in the x, uh, component. Let's find a quarter of the way there. All right. A fourth of eight is two. And then to find the x coordinate, we'll start at c. It starts at negative four. Add two. And you'll get negative two. So this is value here, negative 2, is what the x component will be for the coordinate y. I'm going to put this right up here. That y has coordinate negative 2. 
and we're going to fill in the rest of that in a moment here. Now let's go for the Y component. All right, and we're going to repeat the same process. Coordinate D has a Y value of 2. And we'll subtract the Y component of coordinate C, which is a negative 2. All right, let me extend this page here for a little bit. 2 minus negative 2 is 2 plus 2, which is 4. The absolute value of 4 is 4 units. Continuing with the process, we're looking for a point that's a quarter of the way. So a fourth of 4 is 1. And then looking at C, that has a Y component of negative 2. Add 1. And you'll get negative 1. So the coordinate Y has, the point Y has coordinates negative 2, negative 1. And there it is right there. Now there's a relationship between CY and YD. If you were to find the distances of each, all right, the ratio of CY to YD, all right, if we were to do it that way, let me get another color here, all right, the ratio CY to YD uh, is actually in the ratio 1 to 3, or red 1, 2, 3. That's the same thing as saying CY is one-fourth the distance of CD. Um, I know there's a couple problems in homework and uh, in the book like that, so uh, I'm sure we'll go over this uh, again throughout the course of the, uh, the next day or two uh, of the studies. All right, so a couple problems for homework. Um, four problems for homework after watching com complete page. 31 numbers 8 through 11. Uh, they're just like these ones uh, that you've that we've done together. Number 11 is very very similar. Uh, it, you know, it, it has the ratio in it. Uh, I think it's uh, 1 to 3 or 1 to 5 or something um, like that. Uh, if you have any questions on any of these problems, uh, these four that you do tonight, bring them in tomorrow. We'll go over them talk about them in depth. We'll do some more problems like this and make sure that you're all set with them. All right. See you tomorrow.